Walter to Melton of the Merck Park, Los Angeles. I'm standing here amid the rubble of the Santa Barbara Plaza, just a few blocks from where I grew up and currently live. After 20 years of trying to redevelop the center, the property that many have come to know as Marlton Square is largely a ghost town. As you can see, its stores are closed, boarded up, and covered in graffiti. Despite appearances, Bernardi Park said in June there's reason for hope. Marlton is uh, closer than it's ever been in the last 20 years. So if you look at the Baldwin Hills and Marlton together, it will be a first class shopping area to where the community does not have to get in their cars and drive to the Beverly Center or to the west side of the city. They can get everything they need right here. It's just a big sore. People come in, pretend that they're going to start something, and then they stop. And it's really it's like it just bring down the neighborhood, you know? Santa Barbara Plaza was once home to 240 businesses. A handful, like the nightclub Jerry's Flying Fox, still operate today. Uh, Jerry's Flying Fox. <laughs> that place is been not really a hole in the wall but it's been here forever I mean my, my parents used to go and have drinks there every once in a while and when I got married and I was old enough to go up in there uh, me and my wife actually go there often. We had a shoe shop, we had cleaners, we had a community center over here for older people they could come and gather and, and, and do things it was nice it was well it was well it was a nice clean place we had a law firm over here. We had two law firms over here. We had uh, a hardware store over here. We had an uh, uh, electronics store over here. We had a photography shop over here. Everybody was here, right here, and they were talking about uh, how they're going to upbring the community and how they're going to make the community better and what you know how, how vital it was to have this project come in here. Right? They were trying to get us out, and they made me an offer of sixty-five thousand for my relocation. The city's redevelopment agency purchased approximately one-third of the center. But as Bernard Parks explains, they do not plan to move forward because the rest of the properties are in litigation due to the developer's bankruptcy. I, I think the unknown on Marlton Square is how quickly it gets out of the bankruptcy. If all goes well, it would be a miracle if you ended up having a product in five years. know anything about the area back in the 80s and early 90s it was really drug infested and now they've cleaned it up a whole lot you're seeing a lot more diversity here in the area and because of that I believe that it could prosper turn down the street you see all of this it look like a war zone you know and I don't think uh, the neighborhood, this mess would have been like this this long. You know what I'm saying? Behind me sits Baldwin and Hills Crenshaw Plaza, one of the most successful shopping centers in the country. It sits next door to Santa Barbara Plaza, which was once a thriving mall where people shopped and gathered. It will take significant effort from the community and interaction with the city for Santa Barbara Plaza to once again become a source of pride for all.